Life is like a box of excellent adventures. Stay cool and ride it. Riding away from you, I fly up a steep hillside, smiling in the sun. Hi, I'm Brett Thurber. And I'm Karen Wiener from The New Wheel. And we are here today with the brand new Turn NBD. Well, I guess the question is, why did we do haikus? Why did we haiku? Why did we haiku? Well, haikus are all about a certain structure that inspires creativity and makes people like Karn and I poets. Clearly. And in the same way, Turn has a set structure that is 20 inch wheeled bikes. Their 20 inch is their haiku and the NBD is the latest poem, if you will, from Turn. And it is beautiful. A 20 inch wheel is small and strong. I like a 20 inch wheel. <laughs> small things come in good inch, good, oh my gosh. And we small, like small things, things come in small packages, but have big, big rewards. Big personalities. <laughs> Exactly, big personality. So we've got a lower center of gravity. We've got excellent climbing capacity. Yeah, the torque on a 20 inch wheel is higher. The 20 inch wheel also allows you to have a, a short end to end bike that is friendly sized and handles very nicely, but a longer wheelbase. The stability is really good. You get on this bike and it feels so good. It rides so well, it's such an excellent bike. But there are a lot of unusual things about it. So, I mean, the first thing you notice when you get on the bike is how easy it is to get on the bike. And then, I mean, as a small person, this is the only bike that I can put the seat down, have a suspension seat post on it, and still touch the ground, which for all you shorties out there, it's crazy. And I'm gonna show you right now, because it's so cool. If you bring this all the way down, tighten it up, you will see that I am sitting on the saddle and touching on both sides. So True. cool. Okay, well if you're tall like me, <laughs> and you just raise it all the way up and look at how tall that goes, fits me too. There are all sorts of details on this bike that I think are worth discussing. You took it up some really steep hills, right? Yeah, this morning I was riding it up some real steep hills and my test is always, can I get up the hill without increasing my heart rate. Then the answer in this case was a resounding yes. The battery key and the wheel lock key are on the same plane and on the same side of the bike. They purposely tried to make that the gap uh, from the seat tube to the front end really wide. The way that you sit is very upright and comfortable, but your weight is really on your butt rather than in your arms. And then the rack is pushed back a little bit. So even if you had a big box on the back of the rack, your pet, a basket, whatever it was, you're not gonna hit that thing, even if you have the seat completely bottomed out at the bottom of the seat post height. The other little details, like the pedals are custom made um, for this bike to be super wide and to be just like a nice platform that you can easily get your foot on and be comfortable on. And then they came out with a custom super long, super cush suspension seat post. Fully adjustable seat post, you tune it to the rider weight. Designed specifically for this bike and allows you to both get it very, very low, because that's always the problem with suspension seat posts. You can't get it low enough, but also really high. So I can bring the seat up and I can ride it at six foot four. The MBD builds on a lot of the kind of really functional characteristics of the other of other turn bikes, such as their foldable stem, fully adjustable stem, um, and the design where, the, the rack design where you can sit the bike up on its haunches and store it in a closet or inside of a garage. You know, somebody at about 100 pounds like me can easily tilt it up um, and put it where it needs to go. It also is important to mention that because the handlebars can fold down and because the bike is short, you can take the battery off, slide it into the back of a car. The bike comes standard with ergonomic grips, hydraulic disc brakes, um, a wheel lock, fenders, and front and rear lights. Um, so it's really, uh, and a kickstand, it's fully kitted out to be comfortable and useful right away. But then, Turn has a whole suite of accessories as well. That's a really key feature of a Turn bike, is all of the accessories that you can put 
on it. It has the mounts on the front to, to put a frame mounted front rack or basket. Um, there's lots of bags you can put on the front. The bike comes standard with a, a super wide urban Big Ben tire. You know, they're very plush, very comfortable tires, high quality and built for e-bikes. Quality and safety are two topics that are coming up more and more in the e-bike world. Those two topics have always been really important to us at the new wheel, and Turn has really embraced those topics. Everything about this bike is built from a quality and a safety perspective. So, you know, the components that they're using are at a, at a quality level and a safety level that's appropriate for a, for a powered vehicle. And the Bosch system on this bike is UL certified um, from top to bottom. It's, it's the only uh, fully UL certified system on the market. When you hear in the news about battery fires and that, that, that's not something you worry about at all with a Bosch equipped bike like this. The NBD comes in two different models. The um, P8i is not this model, this is the S5i, but the P8i model is the base level model. That one has an eight speed uh, Shimano hub, um, internally geared hub. Um, it has a chain drive and it has the Bosch ActiveLine Plus engine. Um, it also has Shimano hydraulic disc brakes and it has big Apple tires. So the S5i has the uh, Gen 3 performance line motor, which is whisper quiet, especially combined with a carbon belt drive uh, from Gates and the five-speed e-bike Shimano hub, um, which has been around for a couple of years, but nobody's taken it and run with it on the manufacturing side. The thing that we were always really impressed about was that it has fewer gears, but it's a nice wide gear range and you can shift under load. And the, all that combination of features on an e-bike is super crucial. And on this bike, where it's con combined with a more powerful motor, um, it's a, a really, really good hill climber. I think, you know, for, for us, uh, especially in San Francisco, the S5i is the model, and it's the model that we have as a test ride bike. And the reason is both because the motor performance is so good, um, it has more torque than the Active Line Plus motor. Mm -hmm. Almost more importantly to me is this hub from Shimano. It really defies expectations. We've had other comfort bikes like this in the past where you look at the bike and you're like, eh, okay. Now, the scary thing is you get on it and you're like, ooh, that's really sweet. And so that's where test riding it really comes in. It's hard to beat and it's a really cool bike to share. So if you need a bike that's you're going to put in the family, uh, parking lot and you're going to have a lot of different people ride it and you want it to be super low maintenance, you don't want to have to fuss with, with service, you want to maybe do an annual service and that's it, NBD is the right bike. NBD, let's riff on this. No big deal. New bike day. Nuts, bolts, and dust. <laughs> uh, nice bike, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just come on in, give the bike a try. See if it's the bike that fits your body and your temperament because at the end of the day, that's what you're looking for. Uh, what I can say is I had a lot of fun unexpectedly on it um, oh, I and I think it. Brad's did too. Uh, we have the NBD at all of our stores in Oakland, Larkspur, and San Francisco and we can't wait to get you on it on a test ride. And we kind of think it should be called the VBD for very big deal. I have a haiku, an ending haiku. Can I share it with you? Yeah. You are seeking love. The power is on two wheels. Take a turn and soar. That was written by my honey bunny. <laughs> Just feel inspired. <laughs> <laughs>